Hey everybody, it's a beautiful Saturday today. 46 degrees today, but the, the high today is gonna be in the 70s. It is gorgeous outside. Um, I have a pile of wood over here, and I have finished my table. I'm not gonna do anything else to the table. I like it. I smoothed out everything. Uh, I had posted some photos online saying that it was finished, and then I got to rubbing the legs and realized that they were a bit rough. So I went back over the whole thing with some 220 and then some 400 grit sandpaper and made it extremely smooth and then put another coat of polyurethane on it. And I think it looks beautiful. But I thought, okay, what am I gonna do with the rest of this wood? Am I just gonna start building a lot of tables or what? You know, what's, what's the plan here? And uh, the short answer is, I don't know. Some people are like, oh, I have this grand plan. This is what I'm gonna do, blah, blah, blah. Let me set you guys up on the official podcast table, even though I don't have the podcast going on it. Can I angle you guys? You gonna sit there? Yeah. Okay, I'm wearing my brother's uh, shirt, by the way. The Blue Ridge basketball team. He coaches the girls basketball team in Greer. Uh, and <clears throat> they won regionals this year, his second year there. Uh, so, good job, brother. Proud of you. Um, but yeah, back to the project here. Uh, so, wood. What am I going to do? Am I going to build another table? Am I going to... What? What? That is the good question. Hmm. I thought about, what if I build some custom chairs for my podcast table? What if I have chairs made that are cedar? Would that be cool? I mean, cedar is a very light wood. It's a very durable wood, and it's very beautiful. What if I made a couple of chairs out of that wood? I don't really have to do anything with it, although I'm sure that if I did nothing with it, it would drive my wife bonkers. Um, but what if I built something out of it? Something useful. I could use some chairs. I mean, I like this rolling chair that I'm in right now. But it's an ugly chair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's ugly. It's brown. It's just industrial. There's nothing nice about it. It sits comfortably. But it's been in the garage a lot. I actually bought the thing at the uh, Goodwill for like, I think I paid five bucks or 10 bucks. But I like it for the garage. It's fun. Like I've come out here plenty of times and just sat down and looked around at stuff and be like, it's a nice day. I like sitting here. It's a comfortable chair. Now, would it be comfortable for my podcast? Sure. Would my wife be happy with it? No. <clears throat> sort of that weird dichotomy of, I have a space, but I don't have a space. You know what I mean? You have to sort of learn to navigate the uh, terrain of being married and um, finding compromise. Uh, a lot of the compromise is that I keep all of my crap that uh, is going to be messy in here as much as possible. Uh, every once in a while, she'll get a wild hair up her butt and start talking about, why don't you just clean all this up and we'll have all this extra space? And I'm like, why don't you stop? I need this. I need this. I need this. I got to have a space to do stuff. And, um, you know, sort of having the rambler here prohibited me from doing what i'm doing now um i had an interest in doing a lot of the things that i'm doing now i just never got into it because i didn't i didn't feel like i had the space available now i do so anyway <laughs> what's next i guess that's the big question what's next i kind of wish that bicknell still had his uh bandsaw not kind of i really wish that bicknell still had his bandsaw and I know he's probably glad he don't have it anymore because it was a big, it was a big money pit. It was things that took money out of his pocket because it constantly needed maintenance and, and uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm always a late bloomer. I'm always a late, I'm always late to the game, late to arrive at things that are cool or things that I find interesting. I always find them interesting after people get out of it. Oh well. But I'm going to sit here for a little bit, and I'm going to daydream about what I'm going to build. And chairs may be a possibility. I've never built a chair before. But hey, I never built a table before either, and, and now I've built two. So, 
I've got YouTube. I can watch people build it and go, oh, that looked like it worked. Let me try that. Anyway, just figured I'd say hey to everybody and hope everybody's doing well and thanks for watching and all that fun stuff. Okay, bye. Where's the button? Push the button!